A very warm evening to everyone tuning into Radio Nagarik 96.5 Avaaz Nagarik ko I'm your voice Nishma loud and proud voice Nishma and the show is the lounge which goes on every Wednesday 7 to 8 p.m. This one hour is all about me chatting with people from various field personality from different fields in Nepal and today we have a very popular Nepali blogger with us he has been blogging since years and he's one of the most uh, popular Nepali blogger he writes about fashion he writes about entertainment he's so much fun as a person as well he's also an entrepreneur which we are going to talk about later i would love to listen about his uh, his venture here in nepal about it he right now stays in uk ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for lex levo <laughs> welcome to the show lex Hi Nishma thank you so much for such a grand introduction I, I still feel add. like uh, I missed out on something and I'm trying to you know think I if I missed out on something I missed out on um, something I don't know I'm a Zahra Bajrachariya fan <laughs> I'm a blogger <laughs> I'm a oh, fan of so many celebrities <laughs> Of course of course that yeah. can be that actually reflects in your blogs Uh-huh maybe yeah. that's why you write more about fashion and entertainment is it Um yeah initially in terms of like how I started there was a lot of focus on just kind of like you know uh, the very aesthetic kind of uh, appealing kind of stuff you know yes, yes. I think throughout throughout the years it's been a long time since I've uh, started blogging that uh, the content has definitely changed and it I has. think the pace has changed as well I'm not mm-hmm. as uh, Active, active as, as you used to be yes, yes. I, right. I agree with that because mm-hmm. I kind of miss out on the things that used to pop up in my uh, timeline time and again you know in uh-huh. different places maybe be it in Instagram or maybe Facebook yeah. I would see you more often with your you know perspective about things maybe models maybe you would just write about yeah. um, things you liked uh-huh. things you liked and you and if you had any criticism you would defend it or whatsoever yes these days we don't see much of that yeah yeah I mean I, I think to um, you know Uh, I wouldn't say I'm old but uh, <laughs> as you get slightly older and more mature to to point any good zikura like interest when you like to need to I think you fade away on the zaneki are you trying uh, to say that you're bored of blogging I, n- not bored of blogging I think I'm slightly bored of kind of you know the j- just the entertainment and the cinema kind of aspects of the blogs that I used to create mm-hmm. or kukura saying social media is completely changing and has changed in the past 10 years by letting up a um, a blog or a website or a um, magazine would be a platform for celebrities and other people to voice and reach out to other people you know that I little with uh, social media becoming so public that everyone has an access to um airing their own views and voice that they don't Azure, need Azure. outlets such as the blog Azure. um and i think uh, people also don't really want to um read heavily as well it's all, oh. it's all about bite sized content okay. um short and sweet uh, which i haven't quite uh, kind of adjusted myself to you write like writing a, l- a lot lot a lot yeah, of yeah like, like even my f- uh, instagram captions are very <laughs> long you know but other things you i think the likhna mai ramailo lagcha and you call you padi deyo bhane or ek dui jana le matra bhayo bhane that would be very nice oh okay yeah. that's very sweet uh, i think you said a lot of things that which i had prepared my questions <clears throat> for and nah. that kind of confuses me <laughs> but anyway we are again going to start from the start because we i have yes. prepared some some format in my in my mind because you're so awesome and i generally don't do this oh, thank you um so much. i kind of feel that Every time we have guest here mm-hmm. we give them I give them introduction you know, there's there's a perspective we see them that way yeah. right but I always request my guests to introduce themselves but yeah. because I find you a little more awesome than other guests that uh-huh. <coughs> I hope they don't I hope they, I don't I should have said that shade. <laughs> <laughs> Okay please describe yourself I I used this once before just only yeah. Sahana Bajacharya okay so okay. describe yourself please right. Lex wow. Um, in the ranks of Sahana Bajacharya eh? um, <laughs> in terms of describing myself uh, I would say I am Lex Timbu a 26 year old uh, 26 year old uh, Nepali guy uh, who lives in the UK mm. um, who is known for his blog um, but ultimately who you know takes joy from sharing things sharing the goodness um whether it's you know g- getting people involved in traveling around Nepal mm. or you know fundraising um and then just doing all these other kind of things and i'm a huge uh, Britney Spears fan no oh, I, i know that huge <laughs> Jhana Bajrachaya and Priyanka Chopra fan <laughs> um yeah that's it really um i don't know like i think i, I think there's a in terms of when you said describing yourself and the perception that you have of yourself mm. the perception that you may have of me is completely dif- different to maybe uh the third person uh in this so that happens all the time but i'm very sure there's mm-hmm. one thing that everyone is going to agree with is they find you awesome the way you wow. write about britney spears britney spears looks <laughs> so awesome <laughs> and she is awesome she's the queen she's goddess yeah. or, or and all of that but then uh-huh. you just you know 
yeah. you like her so even I more. Think, you so make me like her even more. In that sense, I know. In terms of the describing, I am someone who is very loyal. Right? Oh so yes, you are. Yes, I you was a uh, Harnaba Chacharya fan from such a young age, oh, okay. even before whole, this whole Lex Limbo thing mm. uh, came about. And I'm still such a huge fan. And then a few weeks ago, she was in Kathmandu as well, and I met mm. up with her. Did you? And did you, you know, when you meet your the people that you idolize, idolize and yeah. that you look up to, and they are still that person, still still that. It, person. It's an icing, yeah, you know. It's up to door like the saying. You look up to somebody for so many years, and be that. <laughs> and that's why some of my friends say I never want to meet somebody that you know. I um, idolize. Yeah, hmm. and but thankfully in my case it has worked out. No, oh, maybe you idolize the correct people. Yeah, yeah, I mm. always say that, yeah. and I always like whenever I message, um, Dharna, I know I always say, you know what, I'm so glad that you are so honest and stuff, you know, yeah. um, and very real because very I think real. it's some of the times it's like social media is all about kind of being real, sharing what you feel, but yeah, we know not, we all no, know no, that no, you know no. it's not quite <laughs> genuine. So it's it's really important that there well, are an the, element of that. There are very few people who are very genuine and real when mm-hmm. it comes down to social media, and yeah. especially interacting with their followers and fans. I have uh-huh. seen fake people too. You know, yeah, I, I've been yeah. around for a while, and I've seen. People I'm sure you have with, with the kind of position that you occupy in that seat and <laughs> the the number of people who who are sitting on my seat. You know? Yes, uh, I have, and uh, what I've seen is they're very different with their followers, and then uh-huh. the moment their followers leave, they're very different, you know, about Hazard. their followers or the perception or whatsoever. Yeah. But I'm glad you met someone. You uh-huh. idolize someone who is same. Yeah. In, yeah. in whatsoever. Why do you love Charna so much? I'm so curious to know. Dharna mm. So back in 2003, I know she had just done Love in Nepal. Ko, and oh. she had an interview with her. Mm. I was probably like 10 or 11. Ah. And then I just didn't realize what a huge fuss the dance scene was creating. Yeah. And the way that she kind <laughs> of backed her... I still don't. Her, I still don't. <laughs> and I mean, the way that she backed herself mm. up against the, the person who who's a very good journalist. Um, I just thought, you know, that this woman has got mm. swanana. Uh, and it's like, you know, I think beauty aside, mm. aesthetics and hotness and sexiness aside, it was the way that she was like, you know what, yeah, I did it, so what? Okay. Yeah, exactly. And so what's the big deal, Coco? True. And he, so I just thought, and that's what I love about um, um, even like uh, Britney Spears. Mm. Uh, it's, she's <laughs> not as vocal, yes. but the thing is, she's, she's always there. Okay? There. Amidst all the turmoils and hate and all that. And, and she's just herself. She's just herself. She's, she's just does things. Yeah. Yeah, and she doesn't care. She doesn't care. And th- I think that's really important because mm. half the time, I think uh, a lot of us, whether we're uh, slightly visible or not so visible, uh, we are doing so much in uh, for the eyes of others. True, true, true. Mm. It, I think it's the same with Priyanka Chopra too. Yeah, of yeah. course. Oh, she's okay. badass. Oh, she is. She is. Yeah. Though the woman that you idolize, I I like your choice. Yeah. yeah. I like your option. So, uh, when did you start blogging? I kind of know the answer, but I would still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's yeah reminder. Uh, okay. I'll walk down memory lane. I started. When blogging. and why? Let's just uh, attach both the questions together. Sure. Because we're gonna take a very short break after this. So I want to know why and when you started blogging, and I want to know about your first, first, first vl- blog. Okay, cool. So. Um, I was around 15. Uh, mm-hmm. It was in 2007. blogs uh, were English uh, language in Nepali blogs and Nepali celebrities and uh, cinema and arts that focus on the blog. Yeah. Political mm-hmm. blogs were in Nepali. Mm-hmm. And so that's why and I was reading a lot of Perez Hilton E oh. and all that. So I was like, mm-hmm. oh my God, we need to have a Nepali version of this. Okay. So that, and I was a bored teenager uh, mm-hmm. still living in the UK. And so I created the blog because I was like, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other Nepali boys and girls like me who are mm. slightly interested even though Titi Bala there wasn't a huge uh, scene in terms of Nepali celebrity culture it wasn't it right? wasn't Namrata Shrestha was recently Matryo. coming out uh, Titi Bala Sano Sansar and all that eh? and um, so th- that was why I started it and that was when I started it first blog about and the first blog was about this is really funny um, it was about Dharna Bhattacharya <laughs> getting engaged to this other uh, I think it was a British national British, yes, it was. Warren or something mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay but she said she asked me to please remove it <laughs> because that went downhill <laughs> it, it did it did yeah. I, I, I think I know about that so basically yeah. you wrote about Dharna Bhattacharya yeah. maybe because you loved her so much and yeah. also you wanted to have and I just time. thought you know she's such a you know presence in my life I, I watched her music videos back to back I was like oh my god there must be more Dharna Bhattacharya <laughs> make her feel, make her everyone talk about her everyone yeah. talk about her maybe so yeah, many that. people have said like steam roto post dekta dekta amo apni zana was like a fan una arti sake khap okay and so i think yeah, that works actually yeah. do you know that I follow people for the sake of following people <laughs> and then I'm like oh <laughs> it just happens it yeah. just happens I think because you follow and you want to follow and then you just oh. it's to your yeah. 
uh, perception and you start liking the person it's crazy eh, the power of the mind and and it is. how someone has such an effect on you Kaka. it does it does mm. i think the positive words mostly yeah. you start liking someone so much yeah. all right welcome back you're tuning in to radio nagarik 96.5 avaz nagarik go the coolest radio station in the town if you guys didn't know we have a uh, upgraded our app as well so if you want to have us in your mobile phones please download our app we are available in both ios and android because we are not biased we want to be with you wherever you are and today in the lounge we are in conversation with the the one the only lex limbo welcome back thank you <coughs> well, <what>? every time <laughs> every time you're like <laughs> <laughs> you have you give me such a grand hello oh you Welcome deserve it and the do you deserve <laughs> it you deserve it Jojo. you deserve I, it i should be here with a drum <laughs> like my <own> trumpet <laughs> so i i used to do this you know hey, okay, okay. Uh, i used to do a lot of this but this yeah. was for something else of course i i probably had something in my mind uh-huh. or just a habit but sometimes i felt like this is a mini drum roll for the yeah. guest Yeah. yeah. Okay. But you deserve it. Right, next time, you. next time when I say Lex Limbo, I'm just going to go okay, cool. in the end. Yeah. I might add to the effect as well. <laughs> <laughs> right, in terms of Lex, um Lex is uh Alex is not my real name by the way. This is oh. yeah. This is Did you know that? No, no, I. Really? Do no. you know my, so you don't know my real name? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I feel stupid about <laughs> no, no, this. That's completely fine. I mean like I'm not going to tell you my real <laughs> name. <laughs> Oh no no now you have no, to I have to tell you a story as a as a Hizrati I was staying in a hotel in Tamil Nadu and somebody came and um said hello to me and they took a picture with me eh? and then that made the receptionist go like oh my god ko aayo hamro ma da ko basira cha hai and the receptionist didi re chan tyo mero pakka tyo आईडी uh, कार्ड को नाम चाहिए सब यूट्यूब में सर्च करे रहे क्या अभी आज बिहार चेकआउट करने बेला में भाई क्या मैं तब को नाम सर्च कर तर मैं कहीं भेटाइन खाले मेरे मेरे तो नाम ने नहीं है इन टर्म्स अफ लेक्स इन हाउ दैट केम अबार आई यूज टू वॉच दिस टीवी शो कल द ट्राइब वेर दर वॉज अ कैरेक्टर कल लेक्स अभी वॉज अ वेरी um kind of clever uh witty quick guy and mm. i i really thought oh my god that's really cool uh, because he was very opposite to me okay. um and obviously my surname is limbo so i thought uh-huh. you know what for the purpose of internet uh, even before this blog came about i always used lex limbo for all my social media handles and i think that name has quite a um kind of quite a effect it, in it, terms it, it, of it does, uh, making my name sound so catchy as well it is it uh, is i agree with that and coming back to the point you know when you said uh, describe yourself on the hindi mm a lot of people find it very hard to see that mo te manche ho jo manche chai mo jab sanu ma hudakhe i was a very shy kid so oh. they like mommy la mata pachhara hunthe mm-hmm. boldena pani thyo hai na uh. like any mommy le bhante ka la mero chhora ta lata pa huncha ki bhanne khalko hai ani so kai le kai surprisingly i'm i'm sorry uh-huh. i'll got you in between which i most of the times do and no, i've no, actually no, come please. down a lot of त्यो अलग तो कम भाग मेरे है बट आई स्टिल डू दैन अलि मम्स सरप्राइजिंगली हेव दिस हो मेरे छोरा छोरी धीरे बोले हो टाइप को थिंक क्या सम मम्स सो योर मम इज प्रब्ली that yeah. she, she loves when Too your really kids are social and outgoing and all that yeah feeling more sanamo that he i didn't used to play with a lot of other kids mm. i just thought but are were so childish i wasn't told that buddha man here but as soon as he halko and i just knew that i just wanted to grow up halko so badly ka okay and so sometimes when i do meet uh, people aru and uh, aunties uncles from the young age and they're like Timi nepo Lex Timbu babu and all that because obviously the, my name was diff- my name is still different it's still different um But yeah and coming back to uh you said that mm, I used to be a shy kid yes. and about describing yourself yeah I think we went out of the yeah uh, we went yeah so that was it basically I think that there's a bit of a two sides of me uh Do, still are you sometimes. still shy so I th- I Do you, you know, still find that kid in you Yeah 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 quiet. I think the more gorma is completely different to when I have to get, be present at a situation like this and like sometimes I do think oh my god am I fake or okay, not so mm. I think when you when you started talking about you know the fakeness I was like <gasps> sometimes it's like more than this one so I switched on switch on when I have to go to events mm. but then gorma or when I'm in my own setting and I and I really dislike it when at home other people that i don't know come mm. because i feel like now i have to be like slim <laughs> <laughs> i have to be like slim i have to be engaged i have okay. to like be inquisitive okay yeah. so do you think with name this pressure came up or do you think if you were not Lex Limbo that you are right now uh-huh. you were probably uh, uh, maybe uh, something else you know not not maybe so uh, popular I, i think that's the word that is so if people didn't know about you in a way they do know about you right yeah. now would you be different in in terms of personality definitely definitely well, and i have you'd be so more much chilled uh, i have um maybe but i i i have so much to be thankful for 
for this Lex Limbu uh, persona and this blog thing. You know, I became much more of a compassionate, I became much more of a compassionate, empathetic person. I was like, 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 I I learned so much. So that, that's why I think Lex Limbu has made me a better person. Like experiences. Experiences go is up. Through Lex Limbu. Okay, mine is has my personality go is up. So if you were not this popular and you were probably just just random, maybe yeah. just the the random uh, person that we find on Manchi Gorma that like you said, my dum boy also I switch that mode on. Me would you do that or not? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I think I would have just been like a very um Yeah, hardcore person. <laughs> I get that. Person, yeah. I kind of get that. Mm. So, uh you said your blogs focus more on initially focused more on fashion and entertainment. Yes. How did you change that and uh, um, you don't blog so much these days, but when you do, what do you uh-huh. do about? Yeah, in terms of your change, say uh Kosri Ayban, I think uh when you're 15 Uh, at that age your interest is bound to be very different mm. and as i grew up as i went to university and i studied mm. my studies have always been um humanities geography awesome. related and mm-hmm. environment development related only i just felt like you know what i'm i i mean like not to discredit my own kind of work in the past but it's like oh, i'm i'm focusing and writing about so many things that are that I sh- let me word myself mm. I just realized that I should be writing and focusing on so many other things that deserve that space that deserve that content the mm. stories that deserve to be heard and It's and read about okay. uh, so I, I try to um, bring as much content related to that but at the end of the day with our blogs alone with our visibility you do need content that people are just kind of really want to click and read as well something yeah. very spicy something very entertaining yeah, gossip, um, so a there's a bit, bit of a gap gossip, in the wheel yeah uh this day so and up uh, you know uh, 26 years old uh there's a lot of people that you sound so me. bored about being 26 <laughs> and it's not nice i'm 25 myself because 27 sounds Do better so, <laughs> so, so i want to be 27 i was like 25 okay. 25 okay. was like okay 25 i know mm. but now it's like 26 27 has like much more of a ring to it kind of, so. Ooh, how how please explain i want to I know about this you this never felt that i don't i haven't Hola? i want i feel like a 12 year old to be very honest okay, to I be honest my opinion i feel like a 17 18 year old right <laughs> now and they can't nobody feels like 12 year old though yeah i think 12 is a bit too young no. so i think i feel like a 17 18 year old but mm. 26 just doesn't have a ring to it ka oh, for me okay. okay and they can't so so you no. want to be 27 yeah i look forward to be 27 <laughs> i look forward to be young, older uh, but then i 26 is 26 it's fine but i think that's my problem i always look forward <laughs> no that's present. fine that sounds very interesting actually yeah. this is very new and i uh-huh. i like i love interviewing you i realize it you so so such a Thank fun to talk you. to you yeah i know every time i uh <laughs> come to a context like this and when i'm being interviewed by someone who you can very relate with mm. i always end up oversharing i <laughs> know uh, that's fine i love it yeah. i love when people overshare because uh, normal kurata jahan pani huncha nta exactly so ali kati extra bhaye when it's always better yeah yeah of course okay. Do you agree with that? Lextra, yeah. <laughs> Lextra, true. <laughs> okay. Uh, w- which is your worst blog till now? Uh-huh. Sometimes you go back and read your stuff, and you may or may not. Uh huh. May or may not. I'm not saying you you have to feel that way. I'm just mm. if you have felt that way any time in your life, like this I is why did I even write that? No, no, I think that's a really good qu- uh, question. Uh, Malak has said yeah, so you know because it must be so bad. Um, <laughs> but uh, there's a lot. I know there's a lot and I think the worst blogs are when some someone requests you I know oh, oh please hamro git share gardinu pare share gardinu pare and then the song is so like you know not so nice mm-hmm. you but don't you, want to you, share. you 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 are put in that position ka and koile kai sentyo for the uh name say kai na and you you or ke hisab ko lagi pani you have to put it there ka and it's just like oh god I, i can't believe it's on my blog ko but teo and so I think that that's why I am very particular about blogs. Got there or website or mine. People just share random things or right now. But I just feel like mirror website and marahe pasi it has to be something nice, okay? Only okay. and there's like no 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 bro we'll pay you money khalko and I'm like I know okay so I know because I never look at my website as something that should you know provide my bread rent and everything. Only mala pa pa dena khalko I only want to put content that I like. I know. Um and I think that's that's somewhere where the challenge is coming as well. So when I do less on entertainment uh, in terms of blogs mm. there's there's less requests of really like you know 
mm-hmm. every other person who's coming so, up with the with okay, music. Okay, I think I kind of got the point. Did you stop writing more about the fashion and entertainment because you had more requests coming your way? That that is one factor. Okay. That is one factor right now. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, even in terms of about uh, Kiki Kuran, but actually there were so many things that are very current and popular which i just did not think they were good enough to be current and popular mm. and like me sharing that just kind of um um kind of indicates that that is cool and i was like no i don't want to add to that and I, okay. like you I didn't want to be part of that yeah and along the way i just got tired okay that's yeah. very nice i like when people choose their own path they don't yeah. want to be part of the crowd mm-hmm. it's still cool to me Oh. Definitely. Yeah. I'm sure your followers think the same way and they understand uh, whatever you're saying. So we uh spoke about your you know worst blog. I want to know about your favorite mm. most blog of yours. Favorite blog. Um maile dherei thorei moto dherei thorei. Maile thorei moto i lekhchu hai na from my own perspective. That there was a point in my life 2000 maybe 11 12 tira hola where i used to write about like nepali bhaneko ke ho hai na ani and uh, the whole idea of like will i go back home bhaneko ta post ko title nai cha because i think when i was young i had this like really romantic idea ma parchu parne bitika ma nepal ma gaera kaam garchu khalko and then mai koshish pani gare hai na and then it's not that easy it's not, it's not, it's not that not. easy ani it's not that easy for so many different reasons for me um having you know dui barsho umer ma nepal chhade ra brunei uk hurkeko i always thought that you know tya pani i felt like an other but unfortunately yeah all the khiri pani my whole family was in uk and i still felt very homesick mm. but i was in nepal and i, I still felt homesick very homesick homesick is uh, missing Wait, your people mostly missing, missing yeah. the environment you have grown up in yeah, that's homesick yeah. and so there was there was various ch- challenges along the way and so to at a like at the earlier point of my life i had written this article called will i go, will i go home mm. and that got so much like really positive comments are okay. which was very mm. like encouraging kind of like mm. you know it's a journey and stuff and all goes into nepali ho bhanne ma kina bhane aba kati paya hami aba yaha when you walk down the street walk to civil mall you see all different color shades different sizes of eyes and stuff ah, so, so, so. and you know that's nepal you know? that's nepal but really kai aba hami aba uk ma hami dherai ali kati gorkhali background ko manche haru chau haina dai limbu gurung ani and when they see when we see sometimes another type of uh, you know different look someone who slightly dusky someone who has bigger mm-hmm. eyes and they're like do you believe nepali ho khalko and then vice versa if they see someone who's so goro and yeah. like ah very you know seems so like uh. oh my god i didn't think you were nepali khalko mm-hmm. and that just irked me ka mm-hmm. it's like oh so what is a what should a nepali person look like and i think this this conversation and this question will always continue it will it will because the uh, nepal is so diverse exactly mm-hmm. and and i think uh, in terms of our representation in in cases of media newspaper and that that, that diversity needs to come through and it is coming through especially finally in the last finally years. yes yeah, i so i agree with that amen to that amen to all young people also pushing their way and creating their own paths true true mm. true okay so that's your favorite blog and i i somewhat started uh, having my own uh, you know thoughts because i agree with you in terms of uh, diversity we're so <coughs> diverse that Positive. we don't know what a perfect nepali is supposed to look like yeah we don't know i'm mm-hmm. you are nepali i am nepali we look different we have different colors yeah. and, and we still like okay nepali ho yeah and that's the best thing that's the, that's best, the best thing best that's thing. the most beautiful thing yeah. about nepal so on this very uh, what do you call it patriotic patriotic note sense of identity patriotic. sense of identity yeah, yeah. sense of identity oh, okay uh-huh. this is what happens when you sit and uh, interview a writer because they come up with words you know and you just cannot <laughs> win all right welcome back you're tuning in to radio nagarik 96.5 hours nagarik i'm your voice nishma and the show is the lounge which goes on every wednesday 7 to 8 p.m today we are in conversation with popular nepali blogger and a very fun person lex limbu okay welcome back thank you so much so Sonsi, TK sir, are yes. you are you comfortable in our sta- I studio? I am. Yeah, I'm just checking out all the interiors and all that. Do you like I, it? Yeah, it's good. And I keep looking up because you keep looking up and I see the, oh, it's that, the time there. Yes, <laughs> uh, we, uh, we have a watch there and it uh-huh. just comes to us. You know, we, we you look <clears> at this screen and then we look at this screen and we got look at the console and then the, the, the time. Uh-huh. Sometimes it's not even needed. Awesome. We just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just got get used to it. So Lex um because we know you as a blogger we'd like to know what else are you doing apart from blogging So apart from blogging um poka bon but a lot of people kind of have the idea that all I do is blog and that's how I kind of make a living and stuff which is not true eh? mm. um 
in the UK, Monday to Friday, I work for a charity. Mm. Um, and then weekends and outside of my nine to five life, that's when kind of Lex Lim Boom headspace kicks in. Okay. Um, and every year, uh, 2014, they kicks in, uh, me and my friend, we established this um, small uh, business called Tracing Nepal. Mm. And Tracing Nepal is mm. like, I'm going to go to the Nepali youngsters, 18 plus. I'm going to go to the Nepali youngsters, 18 plus. I'm going to go to the Nepali youngsters, 18 plus. NGOs are uh, collaborate so they get to volunteer they get to do a bit of kind of uh, community work um, make a difference in small actions right? mm. and also go to really fun places fun places like Chitwan whether that's the last resort um, and uh, the whole idea behind why Tracing Nepal came about is uh, a lot of the times two men here in Sane Umerma Nepal's hard to go accounts and why are you Ramis the Nepal Gumne Moka Pai Gong then and he and he raw Nepal of Fakra Zama then Kosan Zane Kosari Gumne Tablet China. So I'm a song where relatives come about Kana Hale 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 Sokin. So true, true, true. So that's why we came up with this experience uh, where we not only take them to fun places but also show that you know what there's still a lot happening in Nepal and there are some incredible people in Nepal yeah, staying in yeah. Nepal doing uh, things to better the lives of people. Okay, so you said. Uh, doing a lot of community work small community yeah, work small, small, actions. small, small actions and I always like to emphasize you know, you know I, I'm sure you may agree with me that uh have that people have that idea okay oh, I'm a volunteer but I'm a change but it's a change it's a change but it's a change but it's a change but it's a change small thing small yeah. process slow process slow process and yeah. I always say that you do it two weeks do it in Nepal but you do it in Nepal you can't expect to change the world you can't expect to change Nepal you know? because these people have been doing the same thing for the past 10-15 years and this is where they are because these people have been doing the same thing for the past 10-15 years and this is where they are but this is an exposure and a glimpse into the type of work uh, that is entailed right now. Um, so to some whether it's a nani or go after classes uh, after school classes run garneho community Aze. work agriculture work painting Aze. a lot of construction a lot uh, of construction construction painting okay. mm. fencing or okay. okay. manual okay. labor bed, basically okay you actually people come from abroad and do that yeah and they wow. pay for it so it's not voluntary. So they pay for this experience okay. for two weeks where una, una arco, lodging, food, transport is all included. Okay. Ami, and for the organizations that we stay at for the past three years, I mean, uh, children and youth for some collaborate. Okay. So we, we, we give us amount uh, okay. for each uh, person that we have who they accommodate and who they feed. Okay, so mm-hmm. this sounds great. People from abroad who haven't had a chance to explore Nepal well enough they mm-hmm. get a chance to explore nepal and also uh, do some community work and see how people in nepal are nepal are living yeah, uh, yeah. Rural, rural nepal are living probably maybe uh rural rural ideally rural kati thama jancho haina sindhu palcho bhaye ta apne jun no for work also tara kahile kai chain i think i mean kathmandu kai chheu chheu pani because sometimes uh, as i always say um uh, nepal ma to go to f- to find a place that needs support, you don't have to go very far. Very far. Kathmandu ko worry pani nahi. Kathmandu ko worry pani. Timre gali ma apni sahyog chahi ne. Chhau aur chhau school aur chhau banana ban. Chhau jodi hiking zada pani kothi mile pani notice kari ko chhau. And it's not very far. You uh. know, two hours of driving is not yeah. far. Okay, that's Coming awesome. Coming back to your point, before we kind of uh, move away from this question, tracing Nepal in Ayala Sama Bidesh Ma Bosse Ko Nepali Yorko Lagi Mato Open Sa Tarabha Vishwa Ma Chinda Idea Is Nepal Ke Nepali Yorko Lagi Pani Please do. Sobe Zane Nepal Ma Hi Bosse Ra Pani Gaon Ne Goyo Ban Ne Pani Kei Gaon Ne Chai Na Ani And uh, Ultimately The end goal is Non-Nepalese I know, but no, th- that that requires a lot of homework. That requires a lot of studying and experience that I need to gain as well. Oh, um, but eventually, that's that's the long run. I listen. I mean, we're taking baby steps. Okay, but the baby steps sound awesome. Oh, thank you. And so please much. do open it for uh, people who have stayed in Nepal too. Yes, I'll yes. be the first one to participate. Yeah, you have to be. You have to participate. Be a team member, but a team leader and, and and an ambassador as well. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so. Tracing Nepal ko baare mein kuro garda kiri. Parsa mai ek patak lekhli moji Nepal hau nunsa. Tracing yes. Nepal lene liya also wahala ya Nepal. Uh-huh. Aile pun tracing Nepal lene liya ko. So sakhi sakhi you also sakhi. Yeah. Costo ro yo kaka zan boyo. Hamro do you have that experience osti aitha bar um, sidio hai na? Is pali ko hamro um, itinerary was very commercial. Uh, we were just uh, at CYF in Godavari and this was army pokhara mai eta Himalayan Animal Rescue Trust bhanne oh. uh, shelter sanga kaam gareko thiyo. Mm-hmm. Ani antima chan hamro Mustang jane plan thiyo jom mm-hmm. samukti na tara we also found out that the road was uh, really bad. Okay. So we actually cancelled our plan 
uh, the night before and we went to Bandipur and mm. then to Chitwan. Uh, okay. So plan got slightly changed. Um, Due to yeah. due to due to the weather, you know, due to adverse the conditions. Due you know? to the adverse conditions, which uh-huh. are uh, mostly mostly which happens in Nepal. Yeah, that happens yeah. in Nepal. People have to cl- cancel their plans and then uh, travel plans mostly. Yeah. And a lot of other things. Because Nepal is a country uh, where you have to come with an open mind, open and mind, a flexible schedule and, and expect as well. the unexpected. Oh. The you have now. to have to have to do that. You want an adventure? You come here. Okay. So, a uh, fifteen-year-old Lex uh, started blogging. Awesome. For fun or for fun basically for fun to kill the boredom or to kill the boredom so if if you hadn't done that back when you were 15 how do you think your life would be right now just imagine just keep that blogging part away uh huh and then imagine your life what how would you be what would you be doing i think i would definitely be doing something um similar i know something similar whether it's just writing whether it's just writing because i l- i like to write um but Sometimes in Malaki lakhs of one, this sounds mm-hmm. a bit bad, but I feel like my little you whole blogging and it it yadi nagari ko baiyoni. My para i my matra focused on theola, and I would probably have ikdu yota hobbies or ru, you know, which mm-hmm. I would probably push on. And then in terms of my own professional career, ma, maybe I would be slightly f- further. Okay. Why not? He na baiyoni. You blog ko kura gada ki lakhs timbu. It started taking off. It started becoming much more visible. Mm-hmm. And then I started malai chahana lekpani. I started coming back to Nepal more, spending more time here. Dun level matchin tio comparisons in nagarun khoje pani sabi ko mudore isai na. Mere sabi sparsa ko saathi aru pani UK ma na they have like uh, they have they're more further on in terms of their career. Career uh, yeah. Career. Ani mere kun kun ali kiti UK ma pani there's various parts and kun kun parts of UK ko saathi aru. So they already have a house. Okay. Ai na and thi thi baaz in isai oh my god like I. Have spent so much on life experiences, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> Ani, so in terms of travel and all that, yeah. Ani, so but I don't have a house. Kaisen, I like the taller, matty mm. feel. So, but mm. uh, I think it's all to to feeling all that here. And I always try to bring back to what is my um, what is my purpose. I know, mainly what makes me happy, mm. because I don't think having a house would ultimately make me happy as well. It won't actually. Uh, Tr- Ani, trust me. And even if I saved money all my all to this point, and if I were not able to go to the twenty five countries that I've visited so far, wow! I think I would feel like so. You know, quite a kind. I think the ones. Any, um, I know this 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 conversation is gonna go in a random tangent. No, no, it won't. We talk about uh, me and my friends talk about like, would you like to have a kid one day? Uh. You know, and I said I'd love to have a child one day, bring somebody into this world. You know, because by me traveling to all these different countries, a lot of the times by myself. You know, and many times my my parents have took me. Um, I want to bring someone into this world and show them all the good things all that I've seen. Oh, you know, and wow. I want to warn them of the the things that may go downhill because. Uh. मेरे बाबा मम्मी कति कोशिश करे तपनी आई नो दैट सम थिंग्स मिस आउट भो सम थिंग्स प्रबली मैं मेरे समय में बुद्धा खेल मिस आउट कर आई विल अलवेज फील लाइक आई एम गिविंग समथिंग यू नो आई एम एडिंग एडिंग ऑन सो आई वुड लव टू बी एबल टू डू दैट आई थिंक एंड ट्रावल गेव मी दैट पर्सपेक्टिव क्या लाइक एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कैंड रेज अ ग्लोबल छाइल्ड क्या ग्लोबलम दैट साउंड ऑसम लाइक्स I hope I hope this dream of yours comes true very I know, soon. I know. Mean, <laughs> it might take a while. There's a lot of laws we have to change, but <laughs> no, it's okay. Welcome back. You're tuning into Radio Nagarik 96.5 Hours Nagarik. Go. I'm your voice Nishma, and the show is the lounge which goes on air every Wednesday, 7 to 8 p.m. Today we have the one, the only Lex Limo. <laughs> For the final time. <laughs> yes. So welcome back. Yes. Okay. So uh, recently, I saw you in Vijay's video. <clears throat> yes. And yes. that was awesome. I loved how you did this. Oh really? Oh, yeah. thank you so I, much. I I love that video. So yeah. after watching that I kind of thought will we ever see you in movies? Um probably. I think never say never. Life is all about the Are you interested? Rahar haru fulfill karne har ko. Oh, rahar bane. Was he interested? Interest, yeah. And then I think uh, uh and we live in a country, we live in a place where um if we are dreaming of something, we have the uh, We can make it happen, okay? Yeah, we can. Also, also. Take care, Andy. So I would like to, eh? Any um, offers have come by Lapani, but uh, it was not something that interested me. Um, but uh, yeah, you never know. Okay, so yeah. there are chances we can mm. we see Alex uh, Limbu in movies. We have a very short uh, rapid fire. Let's go. Yes, please be very quick. We have very less time left. Okay. Great. Okay. Hottest actor male, Nepali. I want all the all, all the answers. Sushil Shastha. <laughs> Hottest actor female. Um, Samragi, Samragi. Hottest model, male. 
um sunny singh manne hottest model female uh, 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 uh. aditi bhadra thoki okay one actor you would want to hook up with one actor who i would want to hook up with ooh this is really interesting um it would still have to be shrutha shrestha <laughs> <laughs> okay you obsessed with him <laughs> okay oh uh, what would you do if you woke up as rajya samal wow um mm, uh, i don't know i i would just get all the free things i would just enjoy all <laughs> the lavish luxury and stuff and i would redirect it into my house i know so all the free things <laughs> so use it the sure other day samal another day so <laughs> okay rekha thapa rekha thapa Oh my god I w- I would create a a next bomb kick ass movie because mm. Rekha Thapa is just like she, a kick ass lady She does that she does okay yeah. Priyanka Kharki Um I'd probably just slow down I'd probably just slow down and take some time out Okay Samragi Uh do a really really uh dramatic movie Okay yeah. what do you do as soon as you wake up What do you as touch soon, as soon as you wake up? As soon as I wake up, I have this thing where I have to count my prayer beads. Um so it's a case of uh now that I am like back and forth, it's like mm-hmm. oh my god, where's my prayer beads? Okay. But it, it's it's that kind of 15 seconds of silence. Okay. What's the last thing you touch before you go to sleep? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, apart from <laughs> That's interesting. Uh probably my phone. Probably. Probably my phone. Okay. Yeah. So if you were a drink, what would you be? Lex on the beach. Lex on the, oh damn <laughs> so if you were a cartoon character uh-huh. what would you be Garfield Gar- <laughs> yes Garfield my okay. favorite if you were a movie character which one would you be someone from the perks of being a wallflower ah uh, okay mm-hmm. one person you want to wake up as one person i want to wake up as um someone with good skin <laughs> someone with good skin i would just look at myself in the mirror all day oh you'd like, be like oh, oh my god is <laughs> <laughs> okay one talent you wish you had <clears throat> to be able to sing and to be able to play the guitar i could just be music give me a high five give me a high, high five, five. okay, okay. Yeah. uh your workout routine workout routine uh it's okay <laughs> hardly a routine all i do is run Rewind. All I do is run but let me tell you I am a good runner. You are I a good not, runner. Yeah, I I am a good runner. Next year I'm doing a half marathon in the UK. Oh, so wow. who knows maybe eventually I will be doing a full marathon. Oh, hopefully you will. Hopefully mm-hmm. you will. How many squats can you do? How many squats can I do? No uh, I have no idea. It's it's not my strength. <laughs> it's not your strength. <laughs> yeah. Okay, on this very note the rapid fire ends. You are good. Thank you so much. That was really fun. Okay, with this it's time we leave the studio. Anything you want to say to our listeners? Finally to everyone listening I like Radio Nagrik Sunya Hanu bhai ko hai na mara Anishma sanga thank you for listening and I hope you um got to know a little bit more about me and a bit more about uh, <laughs> your host as well Anishma um so it was, it was a really good time thank you so much for inviting me and giving me this time to speak to you thank you so much Lex for uh making a time coming to our studio and having this conversation I know he has had a long day he's been traveling a lot doing a lot of work meeting a lot of people having fun too because I follow him in Instagram I yes. see stories to dancing about. crazily oh also God. he's been going around giving lots of interviews so i'm uh-huh. really glad you squeeze this time for us uh-huh. and keep doing the work that you are thank and you so much keep being awesome that you are that right. the person that you are okay yeah yeah thank, thank you, you so, so much. much thank you so much again and i love you It's awesome to meet you. So with this, thank you so much everyone who tuned into Radio Nagarik 96.5 Awaz Nagariko for about an hour. It was I hope you liked uh, uh this hour with us. Keep tuning into Radio Nagarik because up next is Voice Roshni with the Evolution where it's when she's going to talk about how music has evolved over the time. With this it's me Voice Nishma signing out.